Yo, welcome to another NFT minting. In today's episode, we're going to be minting the Monkey Legends Generation 3 NFT. It's based on the Monkey King. We'll look at that in a second. So, minting now. Eh. Okay, so This is what the OpenSea page looks like, looked like earlier. You can see a lot more people have minted since then. I actually tried to mint exactly as it turned 11, and it did not work. Uh, and now it's working, so that's good. And let's see. It says 820 have been minted thus far. Well, first of all, let me explain. Each uh, Monkey Legends NFT is a Sun Wukong character. And this is the Generation 3, so let's see. There's a couple of examples of the first few. And these are all listed for sale. Okay, so these are, here's a couple of the first few. There's another one too that's blue, but um, I think because it's minting, it's just a lot for it to keep up with. Um, so, uh, this is Sun Wukong. Sun Wukong is the main character in Journey to the West. Uh, it says, a monkey born from a stone who acquires supernatural powers through Taoist practices. After rebelling against heaven, not the heaven from the Bible, uh, <laughs> he is imprisoned under a mountain by the Buddha. It's a very different conception of the world. After 500 years, he accompanies the monk Tang San Zhang and two other disciples on a journey to get back Buddhist sutras from the West where Buddha and his followers dwell. Um, and this is actually the character, as you can see here under Japanese name, that Goku from Dragon Ball Z is named after. And you can see Indonesian Sun Gokong. So maybe Kong means something related to a monkey or something, but you know, really reminds me of like King Kong Korean name Sun Ogong so uh melee name Sun Wukong anyway you can see uh very you know popular character these days as the main character of Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball GT or whatever the you know, current Dragon Ball is. And, you know, he possesses many abilities. So it's my thought, and just it probably is. This was, it's a folk legend from the 16, 16th century, right? Probably before then, too. But, all, like, this character, other than him being a monkey, sounds a lot like Yahweh. So my, my guess is it's a satire on Yahweh by, by people who... Uh, don't necessarily believe in Yahweh the same. Um, so, Yahweh rides around on a cloud, carries an iron rod, uh, is, you know, obviously more than human. Uh, he has, Sun Wukong acquires 72 earthly transformations. I mean, that sound literally in Judaism, there's 72 divine names, like the, 
Uh, it just sounds a lot like there's a lot of things that you could transpose across from this character of Yahweh uh, and Sun Wukong. So I, I just think that someone thought it was a funny joke to call Yahweh a monkey. I, you know, I'm sure Yahweh didn't think it's that funny, but he does have a good sense of humor. So, uh, okay, Monkey Legends 865. Let's look at it. So I guess you get this uh, for now. What looks like a golden band, right? And I think it will eventually be revealed as one of those, one of these guys, and these have different traits. Um, you know, legendary league, legendary trait, and a gender. So. I suppose that, you know, mine could have something of these. I guess we'll see what's up when I do the reveal video. But uh, I just wanted to look at this and talk about the minting and, you know, maybe uh, just talk about Monkey King a little bit. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty interesting. All right, so I just want to point this out again. Uh, <laughs> the Monkey King has a staff, like a... a it's literally, trans, like, Anthony Yu translates the name simply as the Compliant Golden Hooped Rod. Uh, or WJF Jenner translates it as the As You Will Gold Banded Cudgel. And it says uh, Ryu Bang or Jingu Bang, Ryu Jingu Bang. So literally, if you like, a good example is Isaiah 19. Yahweh flies in on a cloud. Oh, whoa! This looks like he's standing on a cloud here, carrying an iron rod, <laughs> a rod in his hand, striking terror into, you know, the sorcerers and wizards and idols of Egypt. So, I mean, it sounds a lot like, uh, it sounds a lot like that, except, you know, they make him a monkey. Uh, and, you know, I don't believe that Yahweh is a monkey. Yahweh is a spirit, right? But <laughs> this is, uh, you know, this is, I think what happens is like the, the, legend or the um story travels east and west and you know as it gets further and further east from the area of the middle east uh or west asia uh you start <laughs> you start seeing it change and eventually it's this because there's a different belief structure in the region that it reaches and you know they might not necessarily respect supreme deity in the same way because the highest deity within maybe some of these systems is, uh, you know, Jade Emperor or something of the sort. So, you know, whatever. I'm sure Yahweh has a good sense of humor. You have to smack the uh, rod on the ground really hard and make the earth shake. Yeah, he might do that. Anyway. Uh, okay, well, that's it. Just wanted to look at this. I thought it would be kind of fun. Uh, we'll see what... You know, what happens with the... Uh, with this here, I'm pretty excited to see how this all goes. Uh, you know, I also find it interesting during the minting, you know, these are, we're at like 0.4, which is like just a little bit over mint price. Um, so, you know, I'm sure there are going to be some people probably like buying up some of these at this price. There might be some buying up, uh, 
you know, after the reveal. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'll make another video uh, when it comes to the reveal. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, so, all right. Uh, that's it for now. Later. Yeah.